Do people still burn data disks, CDs, or DVDs? Sure they do. Data disks are a great option for backing up files. People still like to play CDs in their car players or home CD players. People still want to back up their favorite DVDs and burn ISO disks. Here's a great and free burning program to use for all your disk burning needs. CD Burner XP. Despite the name, it's a modern and easy to use program. Let's take a look at CD Burner XP. Hi, Dennis Ray here. We just finished with Christmas here. Santa brought me a lump of coal. Oh. So, it would be a really nice late Christmas gift if you hit the subscribe button below. Okay? This is CD Burner XP's website. And this is the home page, but there are other tabs that you can check out. News, features, screenshots, awards, downloads, forum. <clears throat> Here's an explanation of what the program is. Uh, some key features. And the download button. Let me hit this. And uh, the developers will accept donations. And I'd advise you to consider that because you can keep a great project in development that way. And further down, there's a download area. And you can download the install versions. Or there's portable versions too where you can uh, use these without installing it. And then it's kind of try it out and then install it later on if you want to. Or keep using the portable versions. I'm going to download the 64-bit version, so we hit that, and it's done downloading. It doesn't take long. It's not a large program, so we're ready to install it now. Okie dokie, we have our install file, so I'll double-click on that and start the install. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. I accept the agreement. Sure. Next. Next. Languages. Well, you know what? I just want English, so I'll uncheck that. Next. Next. And finish. Cool. It's installed and ready to use. We have our CD Burner XP interface with different headers of the functions that it offers, and it tells you underneath each header what that function does. This is the window you get when you open up the data disk header. This area is similar to the File Explorer in Windows, and when you click on a folder, it shows the files in the right section, and when you decide on the files that you want to burn to your data disk, you can go ahead and select them and move them into the queue area either by drag and drop or you can hit the add button. And then uh, down at the bottom, this black bar, this shows you how much room the files take up on your disk and below that it shows you how much room is left on the disk. So when you're ready to burn, you just hit the burn button and you're good to go. So I opened up the video DVD uh, selection on the main interface of CD Burner XP. And this is the window you get. And this is to burn DVDs. And uh, first of all, you need a blank DVD and then also the DVD that you want to copy video files from. And to copy video files, uh, the CD Burner XP's help recommends using a program called DVD Flick. And using it, you extract audio and video files to their own folders. And then you go to this tab, Burn Options, Disk Name, well, you can type whatever you want to in there. And you want to select the folder that has the video files in it called uh, 
video TS folder and you can find it on your computer using this box with the three dots in it the number of copies you want to burn the drive where you have your blank DVD the speed that you want to burn at and usually the slowest speed is the best speed to use the highest quality burn and then your burn options and you can pick whatever you want to in there and burn disk and then you go to progress and it's going to show you the progress of the burn and when you're done you should have a working DVD this is the audio disk window which is a similar interface as the data disk window and it burns standard CDs that can be played uh, on a home CD player or car CD player and it burns them from formats like mp3 and other music formats you open up your music folder here on the top left and your files will appear on the top right and then select the ones that you want to put in the queue area by dragging and dropping them just like in the data disk window or you can use the add button for that too and then hit burn but before we do that let's look at options and uh, you can click on the gear icon to do that in options there's the general settings and the settings in this are pretty well self-explanatory and there's the data options and the settings are also self-explanatory in this but then there is the audio options tab and in this you can select whether to apply replay gain information to your files and uh, replay gain is a way of normalizing the tracks so that each song is the same volume and you don't have to uh, adjust the volume in your player every time it goes from one song to another very see when convenient there are a number of programs you can use to attach replay gain to your files uh, I use WX mp3 gain it works very well for me probably the best setting in this to use is album gain okay burn ISO image is used to burn a ISO image as a usable file to a disk or by using this bar burn a file as a backup ISO image to a disk and the rest of it is pretty well self-explanatory you select the ISO image to burn select which disk drive you want to use uh, the speed you want to use and the burn method and the number of copies and then burn disk and there's this tab this will show you the progress once you've hit the burn disk one more thing I should mention uh, this can be used to copy a DVD first convert the DVD to an ISO image and then burn it to a disk as a file in copy or grab disk you first pull the copy from the source and then you can replace the source disk with a blank disk to burn the copy as the target or your hard drive as a ISO image which you can then burn as a file in burn ISO image and the last item on the agenda erase disk used to simply erase rewritable disks that was how to use CD burner XP thank you for watching be sure to like and comment below subscribe and hit the bell to be notified in new videos see you